Okay, so in this video, we've got x being normally distributed with a mean of 205 and a standard deviation of 13.9. The first question asks me to find the probability that x is greater than 205. Well, in drawing a diagram that's very easy to see, we had a similar problem in the previous video. So if the mean's 205, I want to find that probability. Then that probability is half of my diagram. So the probability is 0.5. So it doesn't matter if I'm asking x is less than 205 or x is greater than 205. It doesn't matter, OK? It's still going to be a half. So number two, the problem that x is less than 207. OK, so diagram 205, 207. We want less than 207, so it's going to be over 50% okay, of the diagram being shaded. So the z value is equal to the x 207, take away the mean 205, divided by the standard deviation 13.9. Okay, So we get 207, take 205, divided by 13.9, and we get... Uh, 0.14388, okay, etc. That will be enough. So we're looking for the probability that z is less than that figure. So on our standard normal distribution curve, there is 0, and there is my 0.14388, and I want to find that area. Okay, so on my calculator, we go to menu then number 7, and then we want to go to normal CD, so number 2. Now, if we're looking at the standard normal, my lower figure is going to be minus 10. My upper figure is going to be the 0 0.14388, and sigma is 1, and the, the mean is 0. And we get 0 0.5572. So if I was going to do this directly without converting it into Z, which you should be able to do for the exam, then my lower figure, okay, is we want like 10 standard deviations down, um, which is 139 down. I can't be bothered to like do all the mental arithmetic in my head, okay? So just so long as you pick a number that's low enough, okay? So I could pick zero. That's 205 down, way more than 10 standard deviations, that's perfectly fine. Lower is 0, upper as the uh, 207, then the sigma is 13.9, and the mean is 205. And we get the 0 0.5572. So just as long as you use a lower value, it doesn't have to be 10 standard deviations down, okay? Just as long as you use a value that's low down, you will get your correct answer. OK, x is greater than 191. All right, let's draw a diagram, see what we're dealing with. So 205, 191. So I want greater than that value. OK, so we're looking at a probability that's greater than 0 0.5, certainly. So. The z value would be 191, take 205, over the standard deviation, uh, which was the 13.9. So, uh, 191, take 205, over 13.9, gets me minus 1.00719, etc. So, on my standard normal curve... There's 0, there's my minus 1.00719. Okay, I want to find that error. So on the normal um, CD, my lower this time will be the minus 1.00719. The upper is where the distance at 10, I'll go for 10, 10 standard deviations up. Sigma is 1 and the mean is 0. And I get 0 0.8431 to four decimal places. So both those are four of the DP. OK. So now let's check we can do that straight off the bat. So the lower value now would be the 191. 
Okay. Now, once again, your upper value has got to be far away. Okay. So 10 standard deviations away would be 139 added on to 205. Okay. I don't need to do all that mental arithmetic in my head. As long as I pick a number that's larger than it, let's go for 500. You know, I just I could go for a thousand. I could go for a million. Right. By that point, the curve is so close to the x-axis that adding on, uh, getting the numbers different, um, choosing 500 or 1,000, isn't going to make a, any difference whatsoever because the probabilities are so tiny by that point, so tiny, that you'll certainly not be able to find them on your calculator display. There won't be any difference. So uh, sigma is 13.9. And the mean is 205. And we get the 0 0.8431 to four decimal places. OK? Just as we expected. Right. OK, so next one. Number four. Probability uh, of x being between 206 and 229. So we want to go for 205. Uh, 206 is there. And 229 is here. And we want that area. So I would need to calculate two z values for that. So 206, take away the mean, divided by the standard deviation. So 1 divided by 13.9. And we get 0 0.07194. And the second z value is 229, take 205 over 13.9. So that's uh, 24 divided by 13.9. So that's 1.726618, etc. So on my standard normal curve, there's 0. There's this 0.07194. And there's this 1.726618. I want that error. That error is the same as that error there. So on my calculator, going into normal CD, the lower value is going to be this 0 0.07194. And the upper is this 1.726618. The sigma is 1, and the mean is 0. And we get 0.4292 to four decimal places. So if we go with that straight off the bat, this one's easy because we don't have to think up an extra lower upper. We can just type it in directly. 206, 229, uh, sigma is 13.9, and the mean is 205. And we get the 0.4292. Now you may be thinking, you might be going, well, why, why is Jack going through finding the z-value, drawing a curve, shading in these areas when I can just go straight on the calculator. It won't mean anything to you if you just learn it as just a calculator rote activity. Okay? You need to understand what's going on so that when the problem arises of having to work backwards, you're going to be in the best place possible in order to solve those problems. Okay, so there is method to my madness. Okay? Right, okay, so uh, number five. The problem with the x is not equal to 200. Well, in the last video, we looked at the probability of x being equal to a certain value. In this question, it's not equal to the probability of x being not equal to 200. So that is actually meaning anything. Anything other than exactly 200. We know the probability of x being equal to 200 is 0. So the probability that x is not equal to 200 is 1. OK? So that's how we can solve that problem without falling into a little trap.